Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Kind Spirit Text. So now we are going to talk about uh, text and Tixi. And uh, basically, there are two ways to uh, print text to the screen with Tixi. So what we can do, we could uh, call command uh, pgf text. And within squarely brackets, we are going to provide our text. Save it. Let's see what we have. Yes. So now uh, with uh, this text uh, we have provided within squilly brackets, we could actually do all sorts of manipulations like with uh, any text. So I'm going to put this in second line and let's say I'm going to change color and color is going to be yellow 50% and 50% black like this save it okay we have different color now let's uh, change uh, font size font size 20 points also here 20 points and select font save it okay we have bigger text in here uh, and uh, with PGF text, we could also provide some options. Rotate, let's say, 30 degrees, save it, and you see what result we have. Uh, but uh, PGF text, it's uh, far from a perfect way to use text with Tixi. There is a much better way. Let me show you that. We could actually use command draw. And then we are going to provide uh, our coordinate first, so 0, 0. And then in order to provide text, we are going to type uh, node and then text. Like this. Don't forget semicolon. Save it. And of course, uh, we could also provide color so we are going to uh, use uh, color let's say green 50% and 50% black save it yes and now let's manipulate uh, size let's say huge save it but what else we could do uh, we could provide some of those options uh, with node so I'm going to add color option with node like this. This is much better way actually. Save it and you see nothing have changed. We could also do rotation. So separate uh, two options with comma. Rotate, let's say 20 degrees, save it and yes. This is our result. I'm going to remove rotation, save it. And now in order to create another piece of text on different place, uh, we could actually continue this command. We are going to provide uh, another coordinate point. Let's say uh, 3,5. Of course, node. We are going to add some uh, color to this uh, text. So it's going to be, let's say, red. 50% and 50% black like this and then I'm going to add text something modest save it and you see uh, we have two different pieces of text one on uh, coordinate point uh, zero, 00 and another on uh, coordinate point uh, 35. And now what else we can do? Uh, we could connect these two pieces of text with line. And that is actual purpose uh, of uh, nodes. So what they are basically for? In order to incorporate uh, text uh, into some uh, diagram, uh, bigger picture or basically in anything else that you could draw on your screen. So in order to create line in between, I'm just uh, going to uh, provide uh, this double minus uh, sign uh, before second coordinate, save it 
and you see we have a line in between but now in order for this to look uh, better we have to anchor our text to our line how to do that now in order to provide anchor we have to uh, add another option uh, to our nodes so anchor I'm going to add anchor north to first piece of text and anchor south to second piece of text save it okay you see that everything looks much better right now basically north it's up south it's down west it's uh, left and uh, east it's right you could also use directions like uh, northeast or uh, southwest it's totally fine so in case of this piece of text we have uh, provided uh, north anchored to north what that means uh, means uh, that our line is going to start uh, from uh, upper part of our text and uh, with uh, second uh, piece of text uh, with anchor uh, south we are going to connect uh, this line to the bottom part of uh, this text you could also manipulate position in one more way let's say that we want to make some bigger distance how to do that i am going to add another option outer set sep and let's say 0.5 centimeters save it okay what's wrong typo save it again now we have a little bit uh, bigger distance in between uh, beginning of this line and text kind spirit technology and let's create even a bigger distance uh, with our second piece of text so now I'm going to provide option outer set one centimeter save it okay once again oh now it's comma missing save it and you see we have a bigger distance but check this out this is not the only way to uh, connect uh, these two nodes if you instead of double minus provide something like vertical line and minus save it you see what we are going to get and we could also uh, reverse this process minus and vertical line save it and now what if uh, for example uh, we uh, anchor this line uh, to the east uh, of uh, first piece of text and to the north of our second piece of text let's try that so to this piece of text we are going to anchor to the east so uh, to the uh, right side east and second one is going to be anchored to the north like this save it okay this is not what we expected so now i'm just going to uh, make some change save it again and this is something more interesting and finally i'm going to show you how to uh, use uh, those uh, additional anchors so now instead of uh, starting uh, with the uh, east part we are going to start uh, from northeast of our first piece of text so instead of east we are going to use northeast save it not some difference let's change to north save it and i think that the connecting uh, of this piece of text to the west side is going to look much better so instead of north i'm going to use west save it yeah this is totally what i wanted uh, so guys uh, this is all for this episode uh, if you like this content please uh, like and subscribe and see ya